Hi guys, welcome back to RRC. Um, in this video, um, I'm going to be fitting a new ESC for the Hulina front loader. Um, because the one in it is not proportional. Um, when you try to do anything with scale wise, um, it just moves too fast and you end up having to put it in slow motion um, to make it look anything like controlled. So, uh, in the video that you would have seen by now, you'd see me doing an unboxing of this new ESC that I've got for this front loader. Um, and basically, it's proportional, so we should have more control over the drive of the front loader. So that's what I'm going to be doing in this video, is, um, is fitting this. So yeah, let's get on with it. Before I do that, guys, um, I want to just show you what I mean. Um, regarding the way this thing drives at the moment, how quick it is, give you an idea. And then afterwards, when we replace the board, see what the difference is, and hopefully there's a great difference in it. So let's just turn it on. Should we switch here somewhere? This is what I mean guys on the control here, but at the front. So even if you touch it a little amount, uh, this thing shoots back like a, as I keep saying, a Formula One car. So there is no uh, proportional drive on it. So you know, it's a bit rubbish by who lean or not putting proportional speed on it um, when it comes out the factory. So anyway, let's get on with it and put the new board in and let's just see how different it is. So one more look guys, how quick that's moving. It's ridiculous really. But anyway, let's get on with it. Well, guys, this is what we're left with. So, guys, these plugs are glued in. So, I'm going to get these plugs out of this board, guys, and then I'll get you back on. Hey guys, I've got the wires out on the old PCB out. Oh, no. so this is the new PCB and the other thing that I've noticed on this, they give you a an auxiliary uh, an auxiliary port, you know, for something like lights or something, maybe a rotating light just just here on the end of the board there. There's two. There's no plugs, you've got to solder something on for it, so Maybe I'll be something I'll do in the future. I have grounded myself as well guys so I don't damage any components on this on this board. Okay. Right. solid they're not gonna come out I don't think they need to be re-glued um, so okay guys uh, okay guys uh, the new boards in uh, it's just a matter of um, the matter of putting it back together now so <coughs> well I took the opportunity you can see that guys to put a brooder figure in um, why it was all apart so that's Pretty good, two jobs. 
put on there. So the next thing guys is to um, let's see, get this thing back together. Tightened up, guys. This big centre one for the steering. Should be all the screws in there, guys. So, I should have really tried it with the uh, with the body apart, really. But have faith. Okay, transmitters on. The battery in. Okay guys, here's the same controls now. You haven't really seen me really, can you? Anyway, it's the forward stick. So, remember how it was before, just the touch of the button, it shot forward. Now we've got proportional, forward and back. So that's a massive improvement there guys, it really is. So, yeah, there you go. It's the 583. I may have said 593, but it's the 583. Um, so, yeah, that's it, guys. Uh, a proportional stair speed on the uh, on this now, which is going to be much better. So, again, thanks for watching, guys, and uh, I'll see you in the next one. <laughs>